Look at what damage you can get on swords at your level. I think you can get way higher implicit rolls, so you could craft a bunch of those for your next video. Jeffrey Kate. Thank you, Jeffrey. I totally forgot that on level 50 you get more implicit damage rolls on swords. But there's a catch. That's true. On level 50 you get the 31 to 40 attack damage. But on level 51 you can no longer roll the lowest attack tier. So I will wait till level 51. But thanks for a reminder either way. I have also reorganized my hotbar, so I can more quickly switch to idle, to scythe, to shield and back to paxel. This will be useful since I want to insta mine my living and gilded, eh? And now it's vault time. There's a gilded dungeon, nice. Ooh, an Omega room, nice. A very poor Omega room, if you ask me. I've lost my way again. I can't believe it. It's fine, it's totally fine. Eat! Look at this. I need a wooden affinity jewel, and I found the one with 46 size, but I only have 45 capacity on this Paxel. Game does it on purpose, the game hates me, confirmed. I had to build this mob farm, because I'm needing some arrows or some mob drops, for example rotten flesh, and I just build a vanilla mob grinder for the time being, because I am collecting my knowledge stars for Kgerium, with which I will be able to automate the mob drops with the spawn eggs. But yeah, that's where I'm getting the mob drop stuff. I'm crafting some dolls. Because Zan sent me totems of undying a while ago. And I forgot to craft crystals to make the dolls. <laughs> which are all pretty awful, loot-wise. Now I get a lucky re Of course I get the totem of undying when I use them all up to make dolls. Thank you, Vault Hunters. I've been running some bolts. And I found a mine room rune, but to run a mine room rune, I want to have a few plentiful catalysts, which I only have two. I would like, ideally have at least five, but the recipe for the mystical essence has changed and it's a lot harder to get. Oh no, dreamstone is not that rare anymore. And the vault diamonds, I still have a few. Now the catalysts are the problem. So I'm gonna leave it for now. I'll be crafting some catalysts in the meantime, hoping for plentiful. I have also found this jewel 17 size wooden affinity and i've been thinking should i add it onto my walterite paxel or onto the scythe and i will add it to the scythe because i won't be able to insta mine wooden chests because they are the hardest but it'll be quicker to mine them with these than with this this was temporary i will change it out once i get some better jewels for for the overall vault pickaxe yeah so now i can also mine wooden finally the only one th chests that I can't mine it are ornates. And this book has some info about this. The setup is done. I've made the sulfuric acid using all of these machines, which are not yet upgraded. I have counted how much Larimer I will need. I need 24 sets of upgrades. Every up set of upgrades is 8, so I need 192 alloys, because one alloy is one upgrade. 192 alloys times 40 millibuckets of Larimer, I need this melee buckets of Larimar in the infuser and I divided it by 20, 250 which is the amount that extraordinary gives I need 31 extraordinary which times 16 is almost 500 Larimar gems that's a lot I want to have ideally 200 ores when I get to fortune them because on average two and a half I should get from one or one ore which is not guaranteed but you know let's also open the relic booster packs And mystery boxes. No echo gems, obviously. I've also completed two bounties. 
Let's roll the pants, which I will probably not switch for the epic ones that I have. Yeah, they are scrappy. Not bad for a base. I'll keep them. I'll just keep them. I thankfully had saved one crystal, so I don't need to worry about this for now. Wild and lucky. Not good. I can't get this scav, which I have the bounty for. I have to find six pottery shards, but I can't do it if I don't have a scav. Oh, that feels good. I can finally mine wooden. Actually, now that I think about it, since I can mine wooden chests again, I will probably stop targeting only gilded chests. I still need jewels, but not as much as I needed it until now. So I'll unspec my hunter from gilded to objective. I will be trying to complete vaults again, because I can loot comfortably now again. And more quickly, of course. Double gear, nice. That's rare to find. Oh great, it's on my way, I have to go around. I hate the factory room, and probably in the next update this room gets deleted, same as the village room, because the next update is called Rooms and Runes, and the runes are also getting deleted, as I said previously. They are getting replaced for inscriptions, and you also get augments, so you can control what theme of the vault you get. This will be pretty sick. If I say so myself. And we are out! 182 chests. That's probably my record, I think. Gear is bad. We are one knowledge star away from Kajirium. We need only three knowledge shards. The mob cages from Kajirium, in which you can store hostile mobs, cost five chromatic steel ingots, three chromatic steel blocks, and an ominous skull, which is. Two black chromatic steel? Oh, and Larima. Damn! So if I want to automate mobs, I will need to spend Larima that I want for mechanism. That's kinda sad. What does the mob terrarium cost? Mob terrarium is a uh, for pass passive mobs, like pigs and stuff. Okay, this is not bad, but I don't need passive mobs. Passive mobs I have in my animal pens. That kinda sucks that it costs a Larima. Yeah, choice flask for a hunter. And I am specking into Observer. Display objectives. Hopefully I'll be able to complete some vaults. Because looking at my vault statistics, you can see how much I died. And I only completed 15 vaults. And I am complaining that I don't get artifacts from completion crates. Because I don't get them. It's like 1% for an artifact. And there are 25 of them. That's the main goal of the mod pack. To get 25 unique artifacts. And get into the final vault, which is not yet implemented, but... That's not the problem now. I finally completed a vault, and it was the vault that required the Totem of Undying. As you can see in the top right corner, I have a Hero of the Village buff, which I get for completing the raid, and I beat the Guardians. I hunted them all, and I got the crate. Let's see what I get. <gasps> no way. I literally complained about not having an artifact, and it's the first one. Also, a lot of unidentified relic fragments. But not the ones that I need to complete, I think. Mode of Purity, Carbon, level 50 Sword. I think I will roll it on the next level because of the attack damage tiers. No, but it's level 50, that's not... no, that's... that's stupid. Epic. For chaining! <coughs> Excuse me? What is this transmog? Yo, that's epic. Literally, that's epic. Double blade. Four chaining. I wonder if it goes better than this or I don't think so. It has... I think what I will do... I'm scared to touch it because I, I can only roll one more prefix. Sweeping hit chance. That's good. Suffixes are eh. Damage is bad. I will reforge the implicits because I want to get the higher attack damage. With four chaining, that would be epic. Yeah, this sword waits here. Actually, no. I have to remember about this sword. Boots are... Mm, bad. But now, it's the big moment. The culmination of the pack is in my hand. Let's roll the artifact. 
That's the one that explains the vanilla gameplay. You can hang them on the wall and then when you collect unique 25 by the edges, you can you can like match the edges from the other ones to make it a puzzle and one coherent image. These are the most important thing in this mod pack and I have to do something special for them. Something in here. I think I will push this wall back a little and make a five by five frame for it. That's my priority right now. That's that's really cool. Oh wait, also jewels. That's a good living affinity. That's mech. Okay, it's not final, because I am not in the mood for building, but I did something like that. I like the frame made from diamond ore bricks. These are the chiseled ones and these are just the soul scones. This is a smooth quartz block. And I, like I said, there are 25 artifacts, 5x5. Five five. That's the first one. We will obviously decorate it because it's too flat, too like jaggedy. I'm not even talking at the back because the back is even worse. I will try to make it pretty, same as this place and the rest. But like I said, I am not in the mood for building. I will be, but this won't change. The environment here will change. I am really proud of this. I like the colors. The diamond is really... I don't know. It suits the quartz. Let me know what you think. Maybe you have a different idea. Who knows? And yeah, I want to make it pretty. Like ominous, like ancient even. There will be vines and roots, dripstones, obviously. like it. It's not like a big space. It's kind of cramped, but I really like it. I am pretty sure I was wrong. Because I would level up to 51, doesn't mean this sword also would. This sword is level 50. So I have to roll it now, and I still can get tier 1 attack damage, but I can get tier 4. Let's see if I will have to craft some more fundamental foci. I will. That's too low for me. How many pogs can I craft? Four. Okay, maybe that will be enough. Hell yeah! I am not touching this sword ever again. Goodbye, my sword. You are very useful. But it's time for the new blood. Four chaining, sweeping hit chance, and 37 attack damage. This will be a beast. And spiteful is towards illagers, so it's also not useful. But I, like I said, I don't want to lose the four chaining. I think that's too valuable. Oh, that looks sick. If you have any cool ideas for the name of this blade, let me know. And also, that'll be it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.